All right. Hey, everybody. Hope this finds you doing well today. Uh, Going to change it up a little bit. John, my partner, has been doing a lot of the, the trainings uh, that we've been sending out. Of course, we do every Monday at 9. We do a uh, conference call, sometimes pre-recorded, sometimes live. We try to do that live as, as much as our travel schedules will allow us to. Uh, but then Wednesday oftentimes is pre-recorded. But every Wednesday at 10, uh, as this is being sent out to you today, uh, we're continuing going on with either a motivational moment or most of the time some type of training uh, to, to really practically help you in the field or on the phones uh, with your sales career with us here at Agents Resource Group and Senior Life Insurance Company. So today I want to talk to you uh, for just a few minutes about leading with legacy, leading with legacy. And, you know, my personal experience coming from uh, what we did in the broker world for so many years, um, and then what we do now with Senior Life it is a little different, and it's a different approach. And it's an approach that took me a, a week or two to, to get used to. And I know a lot of times if you're watching this video and you've come to us from uh, more of a broker model, you've represented multiple different insurance companies and carried uh, different lines of life coverage, then, uh, you know, this video should help assimilate you and really streamline uh, the learning curve and the sales process for really what makes senior life insurance companies stand out uh, amongst all the other competition. You know, when we were in the broker world, we're dealing just with a straight life insurance policy. There is no uh, legacy plan coming with that sitting shotgun, as I like to say, that's going to really help uh, plan, organize funeral expense and reduce the overall amount uh, of funeral expense that would normally be required when you lose a loved one. So with legacy, uh, again, with this approach, varying from how so many people uh, that come from the insurance world and the broker world, you know, you're dealing with just selling a straight insurance product. You know, Ms. Jones, do you want 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 in coverage? Okay, here's what that premium's going to be. Uh, with this, we're actually starting talking about, we start the sales process talking about the legacy assurance plan with Senior Life. Legacy Assurance is its own company, but it's a sister company uh, of Senior Life. And of course, those two work, work hand in hand. And you're going to want to represent legacy and represent it well with your clients because uh, you don't want to sell a policy without legacy, simply because the commission is reduced by approximately 20%. Uh, so you're going to make 20% less if you don't include legacy in that plan of insurance. You know, when you're going through your Slice app on your iPad, or maybe you're using the actual uh, computer for telesales there from your home or in a call center, but you have an option once you get to the quote page to actually uh, and when you get to that page, it's already checked automatically. So it's already including legacy. There's a $4 fee for legacy that's already built in that premium. Now you can uncheck that box and it'll remove $4 from that total premium. But when you do that, it's going to remove not only $4 from their premium, but 20% from your commission. It's structured that way in senior life, uh, with their forethought in that product, they realized that that legacy product being properly sold to that client and properly explained, uh, it was going to really aid in product retention, meaning not so you, you won't lose as much business uh, as you might would, you know, from people deciding to cancel or decide they don't want to spend that money anymore. But saying, well, I've already had a life insurance policy that I've had for 10 years. So I'm going to cancel this latest one that I, that I took out with the agent. Well, when they've got that legacy plan on there and they're really well informed and they know what that legacy plan does, it's a lot less likely for them to cancel, which is going to help your overall placement and persistency, which you want. Okay, You want as many policies on the books paying uh, to continue to, to build your residual income as possible. So you want those on the books. You don't want a cancellation. Nobody likes a cancellation. Uh, we, we have chargeback protection with senior life. 
Um, but, you know, back in the day, that those chargebacks would, would sting, okay? And, uh, and so that, that, that keeps the, the policy on the books. It keeps it paying, keeps the client paying because they don't want to lose all the benefits that legacy provides. Now, what does legacy do? If you're brand new uh, with us and you're watching this training video, legacy, the best way to describe it, it's like the Sam's Club or if you're on the West Coast, Costco, okay? The Sam's Club or Costco of uh, funeral expense. It saves a tremendous amount, okay? When you're part of legacy and you're, you're like I like to say, you're a member of the legacy club, okay? But when you're in that in, in participating in legacy, you're a member, you're actually a card toting member. We we send you a card out uh, through legacy to the client and it's got their member number on there. Um, and when they have that and receive that packet in the mail, they're able to go ahead and log online. It gives them simple instructions and they receive a, a legacy packet that gives them simple instructions on what they need to do to pre-lock in all their funeral equipment. Okay. So they can go ahead and they can choose between many, many options of caskets, vaults, headstones, urns, if they're going to be cremated, okay, if they prefer that over traditional burial. Everything that they would ha normally have to purchase from the funeral home, we provide through legacy, okay? And so they can go in, they pre-lock that in, and that's locked in for life. If they pick out a $1,500 casket, which most all of our caskets are $1,500, but if they pre-pick out that $1,500 casket and they pass away 20 or 30 years from now, it's still just a $1,500 casket. That's all they're going to pay, okay? And so instead of going through a funeral home, and all if those of you that are familiar with our business, in most cases, when somebody goes to a funeral home, to quote unquote lock in their equipment and prepay a funeral. Uh, funeral homes have licensed life insurance agents in them. A lot of times the family or the funeral director is, is a licensed life agent. And all they're doing is they're turning around and selling them a life insurance policy. So not only are they making retail off of the equipment that they're selling full price, full price casket or a headstone or vault or urn, but then they're turning around and selling them a policy. Most clients, uh, that I have sat with that had prepaid for a funeral that over my 10 plus years in the field and business, uh, in many of those cases, those folks just thought they filled out some paperwork that locked in that equipment with the funeral home. They did not realize that they, they actually signed on and took out a life insurance policy to cover all the equipment, naming the funeral home, the beneficiary of, of the payout on that. Okay. So they're the funeral homes doing real good. Okay. Uh, and they're, they're, they're making a good living because they're making commission off of the insurance they sold the client and still retail on the equipment that they're selling them, okay? Not to mention their service fees and everything else. Well, with legacy, the client is able to go ahead without having to deal with the funeral home, and they're able to pre-lock in all that funeral equipment, uh, and it's basically a third of the cost of what they would pay to a funeral home. And so that's locked in for life. It attaches to their, their information there with legacy. And when a senior life client then passes away, uh, what we're able to do is we actually, senior life pays the death claim within 24 hours once they receive a certified uh, death certificate and the, the proper documents. Within 24 hours of that, they pay the death claim. And then senior life turns around and has one of their licensed funeral home professionals. We call them the wish team at senior life but they call uh, the funeral home of the family's choice, or in some cases they'll negotiate between funeral homes to find the best price for the family, okay? So they're handling a lot of business for the family and an effort basically as a liaison to save that, that money family, or that family money during that time of loss, okay? So they actually call, they negotiate those service fees down for the funeral home, again, saving a tremendous amount for the family and informing the funeral home that all the equipment that they need that normally that funeral home would sell to the family has already been locked in with us at Legacy and it's being delivered. And we deliver that equipment to the funeral home within 24 hours, okay? And you may say, well, that how, you know, how does that work with the funeral home? Surely they don't like that. Well, they, they they probably don't, okay? They're not making as much money as they would, but they can't do anything about it. There, there's an actual law, uh, it's called the funeral rule, 
that was put on the books in April of 1984 that states, and this was done by the Federal Trade Commission, okay, that states that funeral homes cannot uh, deny service to a family or deny third-party equipment. So if you've already got your equipment through a program like us with Legacy, that funeral home still has to perform those services. They can't deny performing those funeral services just because they're not getting the quote unquote make as much money as they normally would. Okay. So all that's regulated. So I hope that answers any question that you might have pertaining to whether, you know, where does this work and when does this work and does every funeral home have to participate? Yes, they do because the federal trade commission says that they do. So Legacy, again, it's like the Sam's Club or the Costco funeral expense world. And what that does is, is it, uh, it basically helps a little bit go a long way. So in a lot of cases, when you, when you begin and you lead with legacy and you build the value in legacy and you, you transfer that to the client, you know, Zig Ziglar says sales is a transference of feeling. Okay. When you transfer the feeling of that value to that client, uh, and then once you move into the actual death benefit portion, the actual life insurance, and, you know, we'll, you'll get to that point, whether you're familiar yet or not with the Slice app, which is our e-application. Once you've gotten to the point and you've, you've answered the health questions and you put their medicines in, that app's going to give you three options, an option one, two, and three. At that point, that's when you obviously you take that and set that in front of Miss Jones and say, now, Miss Jones, which one of these is going to fit best for your budget? Obviously, you can customize it and, and put in a different amount. But uh, from my personal experience, getting back out in the field and, and leading from the front and selling this product, leading our company uh, in the past six months as we transitioned to senior life, at that point, you just set that iPad in front of them. And, and like we say, you, you shut up and the next person that speaks loses, okay? They're going to pick one of, those, one of those options or either want you to maybe customize and find another option. So once you've gotten to that point, though, it really helps you, especially in scenarios where people's health might be diminished, okay? If you're dealing with a person that cannot qualify for a preferred plan, okay, uh, they're only going to qualify, let's say, for due to health issues. Let's say they're on uh, blood thinners and they're on multiple uh, blood pressure medications and, you know, they've got a, a, a heart pill, they've got nitro for if they're going to have a heart attack, some serious medications going on. Let's use that example. So they only qualify for a modified plan or a guaranteed issue plan because with senior life, you never have to walk away from a sale. In that same app, it's going to do the underwriting for you. It's going to lead and guide you. It's going to tell you what they qualify for, and then you're going to be able to pick that and move forward. And so no matter their health, we can write a guaranteed issue plan on them and, and, and get them insured and get the family covered, family member covered. But in that scenario, uh, you know, a lot of times, obviously, the premium is higher. If they're up in age bands, they're in their late 70s or maybe even early 80s, okay, and they don't have any life insurance, they need something, uh, but due to their health, obviously, it costs more the older you are with life insurance. And, and if you have the more health uh, conflicts and issues and challenges that you have, uh, you're going to qualify for a more higher risk plan, like a modified or a guaranteed issue plan. So those premiums are going to be higher. And that client may not be able to afford a 10 or 12 or $15,000 policy uh, in that regard, because it's going, to, it's going to be on up there. If they're up in age uh, and they've got some serious health challenges, that premium is going to be higher. Well, when you built the value in legacy properly, and they understand how that's going to reduce the funeral expense. You can say, now, Miss Jones, but with senior life, a little bit goes a long way. And so due to the fact that legacy is going to so drastically reduce your funeral expenses, whereas you would have been paying at least $10,000 for a traditional funeral had if you did not have this legacy plan, you know, it's very realistic, Miss Jones, that this is, this is going to cut at least 50%, if not closer to 70% out of your funeral expense equation. And what that's going to do is allow this $5,000 policy. You may not have anything left over out of it, Ms. Jones, but at least you won't be leaving a bill for your spouse or for your loved one. Because even though it's, it's a smaller policy, 
Don't forget, it packs a powerful punch because riding shotgun right there with that policy is that legacy plan. And that's going to drastically decrease your funeral expense where making this $5,000, do what you need it to do. It's going to cover your funeral expense. That way it doesn't leave any burden on your family member. Okay. And normally about that time too is when I will follow that with explaining that, you know, remember now, Mr. and Miss Jones, especially if I've got the husband and wife there together, I'm going to say, you know, if one of you predecease the other spouse, you're only going to be left with the greater of the two social security. So you have an income replacement issue overnight. Your household income is going to reduce. And the last thing that you want to do at that time is to not only your income be cut for your spouse that's left here, leaving them to struggle, but you sure don't want to throw and slam another bill on top of them. And now they've got to figure out how they're going to pay, uh, you know, setting up a payment plan with the funeral home to be able to pay for your final expenses. So, you know, the great thing is, is we can put this plan in place on you today. You'll be covered. And then don't forget the aspect with legacy that you can also list up to four other family members, household family members on that legacy plan uh, if there's one primary insured in the home. So the death benefit, let's say in that scenario we were just talking about with Ms. Jones, that $5,000 policy is going to insure Mrs. Jones. It's going to pay upon her death. And the legacy plan is going to go to work for her and for her family, okay, reducing that funeral expense drastically. But at the same time, okay, what's going to happen is uh, we're going to be able to list up to four other household family members on that legacy plan with Ms. Jones at no additional charge. Now, that's a powerful selling tool uh, in that moment when you're in the middle of your sales presentation. Oh, you mean I can get, you know, my, my little my little grandson that, that I'm caring for that lives with me or my son or daughter that still lives with me, my spouse here, I'm, I can list them? Absolutely, Ms. Jones, you can. And we'll, it, this, we'll do all the same for them. They'll be able to pre-lock in all their funeral equipment at around a third of the cost of what a funeral home would charge you. And they're going to be able, uh, we're going to call as a liaison, handle everything for them, uh, reduction of, of uh, and negotiation of uh, service fees from the funeral home and deliver all that equipment on behalf of the family during that time. So yes, it's going to help them as well. And so that's really a wow moment for a lot of our clients to realize that. So the death benefit, it won't, it's not going to pay on little Johnny or Susie that you list on there, but hey, it will reduce their the amount of expense if something were to happen to them, okay? So that's a very powerful selling tool. You need to make sure you're taking advantage of it because a lot of the demographic we deal with don't have a lot of uh, a lot of left at the end of the month, okay? In a lot of cases, they got more months than they got money uh, and it, it runs out on them, okay? We, we deal with the demographic in a lot of cases. Uh, middle class, lower middle class, sometimes even poverty level, if they don't have that five, ten, fifteen thousand dollar policy, they've got no way to bury their loved ones. But in a lot of cases, they can't necessarily afford a policy for the whole family. But the ones that are, would face death most likely, most imminently, is often going to be the older folks in the house, often the husband and wife, the grandparents, and they may have grandchildren that live with them. Maybe they can't afford to insure everybody, but they sure do like the idea if, if something were to happen to their grandchild or their child that lives with them, at the very least, the, the funeral expense wouldn't be near what it would be if they didn't have that legacy plan already in place. So make sure you're really leveraging all of this with the legacy plan, okay? So we've got the legacy plan that's reducing funeral expense by anywhere from 50 to 70%. Uh, we're paying that death claim in 24 hours. We're turning around our, our wish team is handling the final wishes of that individual, they're calling, they're negotiating, they're handling that business uh, on behalf of the family, really, is what that equates to. That funeral equipment's being delivered, making for a much smoother process and transition there for that family during their time of bereavement. Not only does legacy do that, not only can we list up the four other family members on that plan, okay, but legacy also comes with a list of living benefits, okay? Things that can help people now, help them save money now on some common kind of nagging issues, factors that a lot of seniors deal with. 
Again, we insure anyone from zero to age 85. This legacy plan will be included on, on any type of policy type or plan type that we have, okay? But most of our business, what we target uh, through our lead system is the senior market. That's our bread and butter, okay? Those ages of, of you know, 40 to 85, okay? That's, that's really where the, the sweet spot is there. And so in that market, uh, there's a lot of expenditures and things that seniors deal with, tend to deal with. And so just to kind of to sweeten that legacy product, you need to know about those, okay? And what I always tell people at this point, I first build the value in what it's going to do from a funeral perspective. But then I say, by the way, Ms. Jones, now let me tell you about these living benefits. And so at that point, uh, we kind of talk, take just a minute and I'll let them know, listen, this is it's not earth shattering, but it is icing on the cake. You're not paying any extra for it. It's part of this legacy plan that's included with your policy. And so what we do then is we, we kind of hit the highlights. We mentioned 24 hour telehealth where they can call in and speak with a doctor if they're not feeling well. Medicines can be prescribed and called in for them, okay, right there in the comfort of their own home. They don't have to leave, okay. Obviously, if it's something more serious and the, the, the doctors are going to instruct them to, to seek, you know, immediate help. But you have 24-hour telehealth. You also have things like free hearing exam that they can receive, okay. And should they need hearing aids, up to 50% off of the hearing aids. That's a big deal for a lot of seniors. Many of them need hearing aids but cannot afford them. They're very expensive if you've never looked at that. There's also, uh, it's built in if you break your glasses, uh, they break their eyeglasses, it's just $20 to replace the frames of their choice. There's added discounts on diabetic medications. There's a prescription drug card. As a matter of fact, on the back side of their legacy membership card is the actual drug card that they can use that gives them over 68,000 pharmacies participate with. So maybe they're not Medicare age yet or, or, or they don't have a drug plan. And this will come in and they can utilize it if they don't have one. And it'll give them added discounts on their prescription medications. Uh, there's, we have a, a partnership through Legacy with Petters where custom shoes can be built for people. So the, the, the list goes on, but there's a list of living benefits there. And so not only can the insured that has the Legacy plan, the primary, not only can they use the living benefits as well as obviously the funeral reduction, but the four other family members are able to do the same, okay? So a lot of powerful benefits built in here. And so when you lead with legacy and you build the value in legacy, okay, then again, it's going to help you sell that policy, even if it's a higher premium for a lower face amount. It doesn't matter. In most of these cases, these people don't have coverage. They need something. If they already have coverage, the majority of the people that I have personally sold a policy to in the past six months already had life insurance. But the powerful selling technique and tool there is to explain to them, this is almost like insurance, life insurance for your life insurance, Mr. and Ms. Jones, because when you take out this uh, addendum policy, let's add a little coverage to you. What's going to happen is that legacy plan coming alongside by that with this $5,000 policy in the example we've been using, that $5,000 policy is going to cover the majority, if not 100% of your funeral expense once you pre-locked in all that equipment and we've negotiated everything down. That's handling your funeral. So this $15,000 or twenty or $30,000 policy, Ms. Jones, you already had with XYZ Company can be left untouched or at least very little of it touched and it can be left free and clear to help your spouse you know, in a, in a case where I'm talking to a husband, I'm saying, now, Miss Jones, wouldn't you much rather at the time that you're losing income because you're only keeping the greater of the two social securities, Mr. Jones has passed away. In that scenario, wouldn't you much rather that twenty or $30,000 policy stay with you and help you during that difficult time and you can put that away for a rainy day as opposed to a funeral home getting the majority of it? In most cases, they're going to say absolutely so. And the husband's going to, if he's a decent human being, he's going to want his wife to have the majority of that money and not for it all go to a funeral home. Because if they keep, even if they've got a twenty or $30,000 policy, with where funeral rates are going, I mean, they're, they're, the, the national, they're saying the national average of funeral expense is going to be well over $20,000 
by the year 2028. That's just about seven years from now, okay? So the funeral costs is continuing to rise. Uh, most people are spending, you know, at least twelve to fifteen thousand dollars, even here in the southeast, on basic funerals now. And so, when you have that legacy plan and you're able to really sell that and drive that home, you got to, you, you know, you can look at your client. So, listen, you may have a thirty thousand dollar policy, but the funeral home is going to get at least half of that if you don't have a legacy plan. So, let's add on a small addendum policy. I like to use those words, okay. Let's add on a small addendum policy. Let's get you a little extra coverage. It's going to cover the majority, if not all, of your funeral expense. And it's going to leave that coverage you already got and been paying on 10 years free and clear for you, Mr. or Ms. Jones, okay? And that's the tactic and the avenue there that we take in helping these families, but making it palatable so they fully understand the opportunity that they have to become a legacy member, okay? Tremendous value, and it does wonders for families. We've already seen it with some of our clients uh, that have passed away, and uh, it's been helping families for years and years and years, and we're excited to have that with us uh, here at Agents Resource Group and to have that as an asset for us. So legacy, it's reducing their funeral expense greatly. It's locking their equipment in, and I, you're able to look at them and say, Mr. Jones, you know, it doesn't matter what funeral prices go to, because you're not playing by their rules anymore. You're not playing by the rules of funeral home inflation, okay? You're not playing ball in their ballpark. You're not subject to what those prices go to. So you know when you lay your head on your pillow, Mr. and Ms. Jones, every night, that it doesn't matter what funeral prices go to, what they ascend to, because you've already got your stuff locked in, and you cut, in most cases, anywhere from 50 to 70% of normal funeral expense out of the equation. And that should give you great peace of mind. And that's how you word that to them. And, and, and I'm telling you, it does. And it's going to help you sell that life policy, even if it's not, you know, if it's not the greatest scenario, if it's a smaller uh, face amount with a little higher premium, when you've got that value in there, uh, you're not going to have near the challenge that you would have in getting to a yes and closing that sale and being successful in your sales presentation, okay? So I know this is a little longer today, but I've wanted to really go over it uh, in essence. And, and just when you start your sales process, uh, I'll just tell you how I started. I covered the majority of the things that I've talked to you about here today before I ever get to uh, the actual premium, okay? I've established a value. You never quote, never give somebody a quote, even if they ask for it. I don't care if they ask for it 10 times. You never give somebody a quote, you, uh, you never fast quote things. And I said, well, just tell me how much uh, $10,000 is. Well, Ms. Jones, it's case specific. I have to get some information from you. And, and I have to explain, I have a fiduciary responsibility. Okay, I like to use that word, a fiduciary responsibility uh, by the state I'm licensed in to make sure you fully understand this product. And I have to do that first. So let's not get the cart before the horse. Give me another five minutes and let me make sure you fully understand this and have you get your information plugged in. And then the computer, uh, based off your age and health, will give us three options to choose from. We don't have to choose any of them. Uh, we can customize it, go lower, go higher. But I would highly recommend, Ms. Jones, you, you trust in our system here and taking advantage of one of those three options uh, that the computer is going to put put in front of you. Okay. And so, again, I'm just giving you some wordings. I'm, I'm not going through the exact sales presentation. But I will, I will tell you how you should start, in most cases, your sales presentation to build that value. And you just explained to him, hi, Ms. Jones, I'm, I'm Justin Young with Senior Life Insurance Company. And we're just coming by, you know, you sent this card in, or if you're if you're on the phone with them, uh, which is a little different deal with sales presentation over the phone. And we may do another video to kind of go over that with, with legacy. But what you do is you establish that legacy right off the bat. And you explain to them, listen, you know, what makes us different with Senior Life is we actually have a legacy plan. Uh, let me tell you what that is. It's kind of like the Sam's Club of Funeral Expense. And, and I explain all the benefits of legacy. It takes me about three to five minutes to explain that, okay? I go through that and explain that to them. Explain to them what it's going to do for them and their family. And then I tell them a story because, listen, stories sell, facts tell, okay? Stories will sell. Facts, all they do is tell, okay? We want to sell. It, we don't want to just give them a bunch of facts, okay? We want to humanize the situation for them because everybody's going to face death. Everybody's going to happen for everybody. So what I do is I simply, at that point, 
once I have explained that and they're understanding the value, then I'm going to cap that off and seal the deal with a story. Okay. The most prolific speaker uh, to ever walk the earth was Jesus. Okay. And the most famous speaker to ever walk the earth was Jesus. And the reason he was so prolific and the reason he was such a communicator and such an effective communicator. And we're still talking about him today is because he spoke using what parables. Okay. He was known to speak in parables. All right. And then if it clicked with you, it clicked with you. He, he's got an ear to hear. Okay. But he used stories to be effective in communicating an idea, a thought, a philosophy, uh, a truth to the individuals that were listening. That's the power of a story. So again, facts tell, but stories are going to sell. So I, I've taken a story. It's a real life story. I've adopted it as my own. Okay. But I explained where, you know, a friend of mine had had a senior life policy and the wife, as many people are, though she wasn't super insurance savvy, she knew her husband had a $15,000 policy. Uh, and and I, I, I give them a name. Okay. I use first names and I just, uh, uh, Miss Sarah and Miss Sarah's husband passed away, 54 years old, wife, two kids still in high school. The husband was the primary breadwinner and she knew he had a $15,000 policy, but she didn't know that it had this legacy plan with it. She was not with him when he purchased it. And so, you know, Miss Jones, when she went to the funeral home, first thing the funeral director asked her, as many funeral directors do, did he have life insurance to pay for this funeral and how much did he have? And then I'd say, now, Miss, you know, Miss Jones, you know, these, these funeral people, they're salespeople. And so once they know what kind of death benefit they're working with, they're going to get their prices uh, kind of going in that direction. And so, Miss Jones, they sat down and, and Miss Sarah sat down to meet with this uh, funeral director. And about 45 minutes later, they came out with it you know, a $14,500 funeral, only going to leave her $500 worth of death benefit after this funeral was paid for. But when they came out of that meeting, Miss Jones, uh, you know, Miss Sarah said the funeral director was actually being motioned for down at the end of the hall by his staff. He said, will you excuse me for a minute? He walked down there. It took about five minutes. Uh, his staff was speaking with him. She said, I waited, you know, there in the, in the foyer. And about five minutes later, he came walking back kind of with an almost embarrassed and a little bit bewildered look on his face. And he said, I'm sorry, Miss Sarah, we've mischarged you on this funeral. And Sarah said, well, my, my Lord, you know, what, what, what's the deal? She's thinking at that moment, Miss Jones, you know, that uh, the, the misquoted is not going to work in her favor, that she's going to end up having to pay more than even the 14500 that was quoted to her. And, you know, at that point, the funeral director looked at, at Sarah Miss Jones and said, listen, uh, you know, your husband turns out had a legacy plan with senior life. Did you realize that? She said, no, I didn't. Well, what's a legacy plan? He said, well, when your husband bought the policy, he went ahead and pre-picked out and locked in all his funeral equipment. So all that equipment that we've charged, put in this quote and this bill for you, we're not going to be able to charge you for now. And while we, you and I were in their meeting, it just so happens that the WISH team at Senior Life called and spoke with my staff and informed them that the equipment's on the way. As a result, uh, that's reduced some of the service fees that we would normally charge. And, uh, you know, so we're, we're actually, we're not going to be able to use that quote. Well, where are we going to be at on the funeral? Well, you know, Miss Sarah actually is going to be probably around $4,800, maybe $5,000 in, in that, in that arena. Uh, you know, we, we need to look back at it here and, and get it straight for you. And then at that point, I looked at Miss Jones. I said, now, Miss Jones, you know, that's a great blessing to Sarah. She just went all to pieces, obviously, uh, tears of joy there because she was thinking she was going to have nothing left out of the life insurance that her husband had in place for. And now it turns out that that has saved uh, right at $10,000 and left that free and clear to go into her pocket and to help her and those two sons, as opposed to a funeral home eating it all up. So that's the tremendous value. That's the power in the legacy plan, Miss Jones. And that's what makes us different with senior life. And so, you know, that, and it, normally at this time, when you tell people a story, you, they're, they're head nodding and shaking and participating with you. And then at that point, you just move right on over uh, to the, to the quote page and get that option one, two, and three in front of them, set in front of them. Cause at that point you've made the introduction, you've explained legacy, You've built the value there. You've transferred the feeling of that value. Then you've told a real life story that connects them in reality to what that savings that legacy provides will look like. Listen, 
That's a powerful thing. And if you begin to practice that today, if you study up, get, get online, look at legacy, look at the pamphlets that we have with Senior Life, make sure you have those figures, those numbers in your head. Attach that. That story I just told you is a real life story, okay, that happened to another individual. And uh, and that's just it's a great communication tool. And just remember, facts tell, that's great, but stories sell, okay? And that's going to increase your sales. And and every, you may not be able to tell that story. You can kind of feel sometimes when you're sitting with a client and they're like, you know, let's let's rush it up a little bit. So, you know, kind of use your use your natural intuition there if you need to shorten some things sometimes. But but don't be afraid to really take the time to build that value. And that's what's going to help you close those sales. Legacy is a powerful tool. You have to lead with legacy. That's the best way. It's not like selling if you've sold insurance anywhere else. If you never have, that's great. You're starting off with no bad habits, okay? And you're, you're going to have a very successful career, I'm sure, with us. But if you've been in the business before and you're watching this training, it's very different. We start with legacy. We build that value. That's what helps us close these sales. Listen, I hope this has helped you today. We'll be doing more of these trainings coming up. Always know that you can reach out direct to us, uh, to myself, John, to Brandy uh, here at Agents Resource Group. We want to do everything we can to help you have a very successful, profitable career. Six figures year one. You can do it. A lot of us have. We want to see you at the top. Everybody, make it a great day. Make it a great week. And collectively together, let's make it a great year and help a bunch of families, all right? Be blessed.